All right, I'm recording this pretty late and I'm pretty tired, but nonetheless, even though I'm sick, I am going to be on the YouTube grind and I will keep producing fresh story content for you guys. And you know the drill, if you want to be featured on this channel, you can do so by mailing your own story at rajbusiness at gmail.com. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Today's story is gonna be pretty juicy. I am 100% sure you will enjoy it, so make sure to stick through the end. And today's story is another Karen story. Now, I don't know how many stories, how many Karen stories, I must say, I have heard in my life, but all of them are indeed very juicy because I am just always in for a treat if I ask about any Karen stories. And I think everyone in the world by now has heard of a Karen story in their lives now. There's like a certain Karen epidemic going on in the world because it started from the US and it just goes all the way, you know, down to Mexico, South America, and now it's also in Europe where I'm from and I guess you can just know Karens are everywhere right now. So anyway, the story starts when I had to wake up early and I went to university a couple years back and I just had to get some bread in the supermarket. So I was up pretty early right before university because I was just very hungry. And before I went, I had to go to an exam. So I was like, you know, I'm not gonna make this exam on an empty stomach. I better get some food in the morning. So then I went to the local supermarket. It was a small one. And because it's so small, there's always so many people, so many housewives come in there in the morning, right after like bringing the kids to school. So it was also pretty busy there. So I was there and the bread aisle is at the back of the store. So I was there looking for the perfect bread for me. And I was kind of dead that morning because, you know, I had to wake up so early. So everything around me just seemed to be muffled. It was like I was underwater. So when there was this commotion at first, you know, in front of the supermarket, it sounded like people were screaming. But to me, like, it felt like they were so far away and that there was nothing going on because, you know, I was half sleeping. So anyways, I was just minding my own business, running my hands through the very soft morning bread just freshly baked and I was sniffing everything because it was smelling so fine and the screaming just wouldn't stop the commotion at the front of the store it just wouldn't stop so I just decided to screw it go there and see what the fuss is all about because normally I'm not really involved like I've tried to not get involved in too many stuff around me if I'm in public because I always feel it's kind of awkward to do so I mean maybe I will get in trouble maybe I will see something stupid something very irrelevant to myself so I'm like ah, whatever and I already kind of noticed that the supermarket was like getting emptier like of the employees like I saw some people uh, here and there but I didn't see any employees as if you know they all vanish or something because you see all the employees were at the front of the store and like when I went there I was just looking like all four or five employees I don't remember how much like they were all standing in a circle around this woman and the woman was just fuming and red hot you know her face was just all red like a tomato and that woman I mean she was not happy and by the way that is the Karen of this story the Karen told the employees employees that she had the right to get a couple of products for free who were in products which were in her basket because you see she was a hoarder of checks you know uh, the discount checks who give you discount or make your food or like make your products even for free if you have enough of them and so she's like listen wait a minute I have all these checks I hoarded all of them now I demand a discount and some of these products by the way they have to be for free because if you combine this discount check and this and this and that one you will get this product for free and then the girl the cashier she was like maybe 15 16 year old she was like a beginner in this work field like she already looked so annoyed man but yeah she told the Karen like no ma'am this is not how it works you can't combine multiple checks to make it for free like you can't combine one check which gives 50% off with another one. Like 50 and 50 is not 100% 
off, you know, it, it does, it just doesn't work like that, ma'am. You could clearly see that this Karen just did not know what she was talking about and I was just pitying all of those employees because they just had to deal with this person. Like, they have to deal with these people all the time. Like, I remember I was working at a retail job and just exactly the same people would come in the store. They would just not know anything. They wouldn't know how the checks would work. They don't know how the loyalty customer service works, you know. They would just assume that they get everything for free. You know what I mean. And I mean, to be honest, sometimes I get that, you know. Sometimes I get the contempt for supermarkets because, you know, in the bigger scheme, they are just all part of a franchise of the evil corporations who only want money and who never want to, you know, help the people, help the customers around them. But like, even if you hate the company, even if you hate the supermarket, like, you're still supposed to do your groceries there. Like, if you don't like it, just don't go there, you know? It's uh, simple. You know, don't just blame all the employees on everything that is wrong with your, you know, discount check or, like, your opinion of discounts, I have to say. Which also takes me to the point that constructive criticism is, you know, are two words that Karens just do not understand. Like, they will only criticize you the hard way, just be very toxic in general like that's just always how it goes some people just don't understand what constructive criticism means you know they think that if you criticize someone you always have to scream or you always have to have this angry face otherwise people would not understand you know i mean obviously like you can just give nice feedback you know just nice feedback people will listen to Pe people are more likely to listen to you than if you just start ranting in general you know and i mean if if it's against policy to just give two discount checks and just, you know, grab some products for free, which is basically stealing. I mean, the cashier is not allowed to do that. The cashier is not supposed to do that, you know. Imagine just the boss of the supermarket just, you know, checking in on, you know, all the finances, the pluses and the minuses. And then all of a sudden, food was stolen, you know. And it's all the cashier's fault because the cashier took two pieces of paper from a Karen and just accepted it as payment, you know? No, that's not how the world works. Anyways, I went to the aisle next to the cashier and I was just looking at all the bottles there, all the batteries, and I was reading the battery packages because I kind of didn't want to involve myself in that situation still. So I was just, you know, reading some text and, you know, on the batteries. I could tell you everything about batteries now, probably. Anyways, as the Karen was standing next to the cashier, she decided to double down and she did the worst thing possible. She grabbed the products that she already bought for and also the products she wanted to grab for free, which she didn't buy for. She grabbed them, you know, put them in her basket and just left the supermarket without paying for the products, right? And so as she was doing that, there was this security guard at the front of the supermarket and he just stopped her right at her feet. Like he just stopped her. He was like, ma'am, you cannot steal these products. Put those products down immediately or come with me to the police station and we will handle it from there and you will have dire consequences doing this. And she was like, okay, you know, guilt hit her. She was like, okay, I'm gonna leave these products. I'm gonna go away. But my lawyer and your lawyer, your supermarket and my lawyer, you will hear from me. I'm going to sue you. So yeah, she went away. I never saw her ever again, which is obviously a good thing. I bought my bread, I went to university and I did the exam and it was successful, everything was nice. The best way to support my channel is to binge watch my older story time videos. They are showing up on screen right now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. It will mean the world to me. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for the support lately. I will catch you guys in another video. Peace.